Hello friends, I'm Jackson Emmer. I'm a touring musician from Carbondale, Colorado. Today I'd like to show you how to hold the mandolin. How you hold the mandolin depends a little bit on whether or not you have an A-style mandolin like this or an F-style mandolin. Remember an F-style mandolin has a scroll on the top here and it also has a little point on this side which is uh, how you rest it against your knee to keep it from sliding. You notice this one slides around a lot. You might be having that same problem. So I'd recommend putting a strap on your mandolin. You can either loop it through uh, the headstock just behind this nut with a piece of string, or if you have a strap button up here, you can connect the strap here, come around this way, and put a strap on this strap button here. Most mandolins at least have this bottom strap button. Um, from there, if you don't have a strap, or even if you do, I guess, you're still gonna hold it the same way. You're gonna put it between your knees, and your right arm is gonna come over the edge here, just near the bottom of this F hole. And I say that because the meat of your arm, your forearm, is gonna hold the mandolin in place, tipping it back a little bit so that this very back edge is resting uh, kind of at your rib cage, just on your belly there. What you wanna prevent is pulling the mandolin too close against your stomach and muffling the sound on the back against your belly. So. Like I said, tip it back slightly. You can see that I'm keeping space between uh, my stomach and the mandolin. And you're gonna use this arm to pin it in place. You do wanna have the neck up at a 45 degree angle, roughly. And I say that because if you come down here or you play way up here, you're gonna end up with some wrist problems down the road. So it's nice to keep it at an angle just about this. Should be fairly comfortable. And um, last component to holding the mandolin, is where we put the neck in our hand. You'll notice that you can see a little bit of light between my hand and the neck there. That's because I'm holding the mandolin in between this sort of a crook of my thumb and forefinger. So this is a way violinists are taught to hold their necks and that's what we do too. Doing so creates a nice little space like I mentioned, but it also means that your wrist and your fingers are tipped at an angle which allows your fingers to have access to all these uh, tiny frets. If you try to play mandolin like this with your fingers uh, parallel with all the frets, it's a lot harder to get your hand to do what you need to. It doesn't work the same way as a guitar. So guitarists out there especially, tip your wrist like this, and you'll be able to play all the notes and uh, should be able to fit your fingers into the frets there. So that's how you hold the mandolin. Hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.